Welcome back to the channel guys. So this week we're painting US GIs from World War II. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to keep helping the channel grow. So I started off with a spray paint base coat of, it was an Australia Exports, just brown matte, which I got from Super Cheap Auto. It came out gloss. I was hoping it was going to be matte, uh, so that was a bit of a mistake, but it actually didn't make much of a difference later on, so that was all good. Uh, so next, first up, we paint the jackets and the gaiters. Uh, I was using US Field Drab. Uh, I guess they've named that specifically for the job. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Easy color, just goes straight on. Um, I watered it down just a tiny little bit just to make it flow slightly easier uh, without going lumpy, but yeah, easy color to put on. I do like the Vallejo range. I think it always comes out as a good quality. Uh, in this, this video, I'll be showing one of the sprues, although I did make the mistake of not counting what miniatures were on the sprue, and so I did three of them, uh, which is actually enough to do a whole platoon well, over a platoon, actually. It's like a platoon and a half. Um, and it was only once I got to the end that I was like, ah, I shouldn't have done that. So, yeah, I'll be just showing the one. Uh, next up was the helmets and webbing. And for that, we just used Russian uniform World War II, again, from Vallejo. As I said before, good quality paints. Um, and didn't have any problem with them going onto the miniature. And there was no issue with any of the colours uh, going over the sort of gloss base coat that I'd already done. So that was a bonus as well. I'm working towards increasing the number of videos that go out from one a week to maybe two. I mean, I don't want to sort of overburden myself because I do have work. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do a few a week. But if it ends up just being one some weeks, then, yeah, please forgive me, but I'll do my best. Um, I've got lots of ideas, and I do want to get lots out there, so I'm going to try and do my best to get them out. But if I can't do it as regularly as I would like to, it'll still be the sort of one a week that I have been doing. Next up, we're going to start doing the flesh tones, and so for that, it was just Tamiya Color Flat Flesh. Um, not overly keen on this, because it does go lumpy, um, and you often find you're painted onto one area, and then you reapply a bit more, and it pulls off the first. And that's not just with uh, the sort of gloss base coat here, that's across the board, so I'm not too keen on the Tamiya Flat Flesh. Uh, I'm just using it because I've got leftovers. Uh, but I will be looking for something better in the future. So any suggestions, uh, please put them in the comments. So what I've decided is that I'm going to carry on with the kind of um, ratio that I have been doing. One battle report, one painting tutorial and one crafting tutorial. Uh, sort of in that order. Uh, but I do have a lot of miniatures which need painting <laughs> and they range from World War II, Napoleonics, uh, Warhammer, fantasy, all sorts of stuff. Um, so I'm probably going to just start doing instead of like I did to the American Civil War where it was all American Civil War for several months it'll probably be a unit here or a couple of units from one period and then a couple of units from another period just so that I can keep my sanity when it comes to painting. Uh, so at this stage <clears throat> pardon me, I had to uh, give them their wash. I don't have Agarax Earthshade, so I've made a my homemade batch. Um, that's kind of a drop of brown, which is just dollar store brown, a drop of the uh, game black, and then a couple of drops of Liquitex matte medium and Liquitex flow improver. Mix them together, put it over, and to be honest, I'm very happy with the outcome. It might not be quite as good as you might get with Agarax Earthshade, but it's a lot cheaper, so very happy with the way it comes out. It ends up giving you the good sort of uh, the shadows that you want and allows you to just build up the highlights to really show off the miniatures. 
as always, I do always ask everyone if there's any period of time, any miniatures in particular uh, that you want to see me paint, let me know and I can do report uh, painting tutorials on those. Um, I have finally just received my uh, Warlord Games Napoleonics British and French, so I will be doing some videos of those coming up shortly, which is quite exciting. I haven't received my Pike and Shot minis yet, so again, wait for those. Uh, after the wash has dried thoroughly, and that's quite important, is do make sure that your wash has dried fully before you start painting again. I was then going over the green, again, used the same uh, Russian uniform, touched up the helmets and touched up the webbing. On the rifles and machine guns, any of the wooden parts, I used leather brown from Game Color, just to highlight. For the actual metal parts themselves, I mixed a drop of silver uh, from Game Color and a drop of black from Game Color, mixed them together so it makes sort of an oily, silvery color, and just use that for the metal parts which I always think comes out quite nicely. And then over the uniform itself, I went back to the um, US drab just to touch up the gaiters and the uniform jackets themselves. Also, we're gonna, now that I'm moving into some of the World War II, um, it'll probably be this coming week uh, that we'll have the first battle report. Um, so again, if there's any battles that you want to see me do for World War II, let me know, and then I can get those going. We're going to start off in the Hurtgen Forest. I'm not sure where it is. When I find it, I will post it somewhere. But I have a book on the Hurtgen, and really interesting book, but really interesting and terrible campaign. Uh, the Americans lost thousands and thousands. Terrible. Uh, but you don't really hear much about it, so interesting. Anyway, overall, I really enjoyed painting these. I think at the end they came out really nicely. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting my whole platoon plus extras onto the table for a few games. Anyway, please like, subscribe and comment below and I'll see you next time.